Now, jury selection is underway in the high-profile trial of Atlanta rapper Young Thug and more than a dozen of his alleged associates. A young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams, is facing RICO charges in Fulton County. He's accused of being the ringleader of the gang Young Slime Life. 200 prospective jurors were summoned to the courthouse yesterday. Another potential 200 jurors are set to report to the courthouse today and tomorrow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, can you all of you hear me? Okay, your day started out something like this. You came here from wherever you live in our great county based on a notice that was probably on your nightstand, your refrigerator, or your junk drawer, or some other place you keep stuff in your house. You took one of means of conveyance to include being dropped off this morning, and then you came here at O Dark 30, and you came up here to the seventh floor and uh, you've been sitting around for the day. Is that your kind of experience? All right, I got a notice on my fridge. I'm coming up here to do that on the 12th. So everybody gets called for jury service at some point in time. But jury service, I would submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most important things that we do as a citizenry. And the U.S. flag that's behind me is the biggest representation of our responsibility to serve as jurors. There are young men and women who come from every human cry, every religious background, who are in all the four corners of the world, ready to give the last full measure so each one of us can feel irritated and have an opinion. So I would just ask that you respectfully kind of keep that in mind or in conjunction with what I'm going to tell you over the next several minutes, okay? Um, this is not a perfect process. If it were perfect, you would have come up here and we would have start, got started at 9.01. But there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes of justice that aren't explainable at the time that we're going through them. But rest assured, they're to ensure that each person under our U.S. and Constitu uh, Georgia Constitution enjoys a fair trial, a lawful trial, and a just trial. So many of those things happened this morning before you got here, and it just took a little bit longer than what we expected. So you're probably asking yourselves, well, what's going to happen now? You know, we've been here all day long. I'm going to tell you. What's going to happen in just a few minutes is you're going to watch a video, a video that has the instructions for this particular trial that you've been summoned for, as well as the indictment. It's a reading of the indictment. Now, before you all take that apoplectic breath, I'm going to tell you that the, the total length of time is going to be about 3 hours 45 minutes. It's, it's like Avatar, but, you know, hopefully you like that. But um, in all seriousness, it is going to last about 3 hours and 45 minutes, and we're going to break probably about, about every hour and 15 minutes and go ahead and let you all have com take comfort, and then we'll show the rest. Once that is complete, so it's, it's three separate you know, sittings of that particular juror video, you will then be asked to fill out a questionnaire. The questionnaire, once you complete that, then you're done for the day. Only those of you that wish to be examined for hardship, I'll ask you to come back on the 9th of January to courtroom 1C in this courthouse, if you, if and only if you want to be examined for hardship. So, the letter that Ms. Von Kelch gave her and her team gave you this morning kind of has some information on it about your juror number. Okay, okay, all right, okay, okay. You're gonna get one, okay? All right, okay, all right, Amy, don't do that to me. All right, so, you're gonna get a letter and your letter will correspond with a number and then you'll need to call the particular number on this letter and it will tell you when you need to report. Now, the only people that definitely need to report on Monday the 9th will be those people that want to be examined for hardship. If you don't want to be examined for hardship, then you'll use this letter and at some point in time, you'll, every night Ms. Ms. Von Kels and her team are, probably, are going to tell you, you need to call after 5 o'clock and check the recorded message line to see whether or not your particular number or group needs to come in. Okay? So, 
That's what's going to happen short term and long term. Now, I know with every group, because I was probably one of them, that kind of thinks this. Well, you know what? My fund meter's pegged, Judge. I'm not coming back on Monday. You can't make me come back. What are you going to do? Well, unfortunately, if you don't come back on Monday, I will send these nice gentlemen who are wearing these gray and black uniforms to come visit you, either at your home or your office, and they will force you to come back and we'll have a very uncomfortable conversation. Let's not make that a reality. If you want to be examined for hardship, please come back on Monday at 8.30, courtroom 1C, and I and the lawyers will go ahead and hear your, hear, hear your um, concerns as to, how, as to why it is that you may or may not be able to serve as a juror. Now you probably ask me, well, can I do that today? Judge, I don't care what time of, of, of day it is. I want to be examined for hardship today. I unfortunately can't do that. This space has been rented out for a wedding at 7 o'clock, so i got to get out of here, okay? No, I'm serious. It, by the time you all finish the video and we finish you filling out the questionnaires, we're done for the day. I've, I've sucked up as much as much your time as I possibly can, can do for the day, and I really appreciate your patience on behalf of um, Amy Von Kelch and her team in jury services, as well as our advocates, who you'll get a chance to, um, chance to probably talk with um, a little bit later on, okay? But, so, just to recap the most important points, going to see a video, it's going to start pretty soon. We're going to go about an hour and 15 minutes. We're going to stop, you're going to take comfort for those of you who want to take comfort. We're going to do that two more times. Once that's complete, you're going to fill out a questionnaire. Once you're finished filling out the questionnaire and you get your letter, which gives you the instructions that I just mentioned, you'll be free to go. If you wish to be examined for a hardship, you'll need to come back on Monday, January the 9th, courtroom 1C. You'll not come back up here. You'll come directly to, one, uh, to 1C and then we'll examine you for hardship. Okay? So... With that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope by way of explanation, I know that that doesn't alleviate what you've gone through today, but we really appreciate your patience because without you, we could not conduct business in the criminal and civil justice system.